happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, happy Sunday, happy Sunday. I know it's been a while. I'll be coming in and out. But anyway, thank you for watching. Like, share, comment. Hit the subscribe button. Hit bell to be notified when your girl uploads another video. And I know it's been far and few, but I am going to hold up another one. And watch the ads, please. Till the end. Yes. Anyway, you know, I had to get that little spill out. But, um... I, I was just thinking today. I said, let me do a video. Because I got some stuff on my mind. And I was thinking, I know I ain't the Long Ranger. I ain't the only one in the world that feels the way I'm feeling right now. And I was thinking, well, let me bless somebody. If they hear what I'm saying and they going through it, or they experienced it. You know, let me bless somebody else in, in, in with my story. Because you never know who out there who, who might need to hear it. Okay, so let me share it. Okay. So, um, I want to talk about evilness. And where it derives from. Now, I'm not a scholar. I'm just... This is based on experience. But I think the evilness is so within. But it comes from something. Everything has a root. Trees have roots. Everything have root. We have roots. We come from our parents. Our parents come from their parents, so on and so forth. Our ancestors, we, 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 we have roots. Everything has roots. It comes from somewhere. And I'm thinking, well, my point of view is I think a lot of stuff comes from evilness. Evilness comes from jealousy, envy, self-hatred, uh, low self-esteem, self-worth, no self-worth. Okay? Because when people are just hate you for no, if you're thinking like, well, we never fell, you, you go through the list, we never fell out, I, we, you know, I never did anything to them, I always been, what is it? A lot of times people see stuff in you that they wish they had in themselves, and they don't know how to get it, they don't know where to start. They don't know how to pick themselves up um, to make those things happen for them in their lives. So when they look at you and they see you making it and you striving and you, you keep moving and you keep going, they don't really know what you're struggling with. They don't really, all they see is your progress. They don't see how you got that progress. They're not watching you through your struggle. All they see is your accomplishments. And then they just automatically just get mad. And then they start talking about you. Talking about your flaws. Oh, you're fat. Oh, you're this. Oh, you you, you know, you don't have a man. Or, or, or you don't have any friends. Or... You know, you're sad. You you got big eyes. You got big, your shape is messed up. I mean, she ain't got no, you know, they they start finding things to give themselves a reason to feel the way they feel them because they don't want to actually look at themselves, take responsibility, and realize that they're in the position they're in because of the decisions that they made. And then, and envy turns into jealousy, and then it just gets deeper. It, jealousy is horrible. It's, it's bad. It, it turns into something. It, it's just not good. It's just not good. And um, then I was starting to think about my mother, you know, how... Um, she was always harder on me than my other siblings. 
and how I used to feel like she loved them more than me. I felt that way. I'm human. Why is she so hard on me? And she loved them more than me. And da, 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 da. I did feel that way. And I'm glad she was hard on me. Because after she passed, I didn't I didn't realize this how strong I was. Like my daughter, my daughter said to me, and one of my other friends said, Tracy, you're stronger than you think. And my daughter always say that. And my friend Sabrina always say that. You're stronger than what you think. When she passed, how I held it up, how I just, I, I couldn't let, I couldn't get emotional at that time. Because we had to, there was things that needed to be done, and nobody else, you know, know how, you know, we, you know, didn't know how to do, put nothing together, didn't know how to do anything. You know, I held it together. You know, and I'm just trying to set my phone down, I'm tired of holding it. Um, I didn't realize how strong it was. Sometimes we don't give our own self credit. You know, we don't celebrate ourselves enough. Because I'm quite sure that we have accomplished, you too, whoever's out there listening, you have accomplished a lot of things. There's a lot of things you overcame, but you haven't celebrated yourself. You haven't thought about, damn, I made it through this, I made it through that. We're so busy, concerned about what we're going through now, what we're missing now, what we didn't do, the, the, the issues that we're going through now that we don't celebrate ourselves enough to give ourselves credit and pat ourselves, our own self on the back about the things that we have accomplished. If we can do that, if we can uh, appreciate the things that we have accomplished, appreciate the things that we have right now, think about where that it could be worse. If we can just appreciate the things that we have, how much more will we be blessed with? How much more? If we think about the lessons that we learned, like, I no longer talk to people. Like, I thought I had me a friend, a sister. You just don't know. I love this woman. That was my sister. We used to work. We met at work. We used to work together. We worked at the telephone. At, at the telephone company. We were, I doubt, and I used to open up. I, that was the one person I used to just open up to. I used to just cry on her shoulder. I, she was just, I just thought that, and when she heard me and showed me who she really was and how she really felt and how she really was, I have never, I have two people that I talk to when I desperately need to get some things out or we talk or they call me, but I, I don't, I talk to myself. Self. I talk to God and I go see me a therapist here and there. I don't have one steady, but I will go see one. I talk to myself most of the time. Because most of the time, it's deep inside, we have the answers. We just need a sounding board. We just need somebody. We just need to get it out. And then once you hear yourself talk, that's a lot of times when, when we talk to people. We really get the answers by just getting it, this, getting it out of, of, of our mind. We just need a sounding board. We don't need no judgment. We don't need no opinions. Okay, we just need a sounding board. And I, since th that situation, I don't talk to nobody. I, talk, I don't trust no. I talk to myself. Because people will hurt you. People will hurt you. We have to learn to celebrate ourselves. We have to learn to compliment ourselves. We have to learn to pat ourselves on the back. We have to learn to put ourselves first. We have to learn to, 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 to love ourselves. Sometimes, I mean, it's a learning process. You, we have to learn it. We have to, you know... We have to do it. And when I start thinking about evilness, I start thinking, for a person to be evil, 
to to get some sort of joy or some sort of whatever uh, satisfaction or whatever they get from your hurt and pain or from them hurting you. And now my mother's been gone nine months. We have yet to get a picture, a letter, a token, a trinket, anything of our mother to remember her by. And people will wear a mask. You cannot be fake forever. Eventually, the, your true self is going to come out. Your true self will come out eventually. You can't hide who you are forever. And I was already prepared. Like, I'm not, I'm hurt, I'm mad, and everything, but not as my sister. Because I already prepared for this. I already seen who that person was. I already seen the evilness, the cruelness. I already seen it. I wasn't walking with blindfolds on. I already seen it. So the blow didn't hit me as bad as it's hitting them. And I'm glad my mother was hard on me, made me a strong woman that I am now. Because I've been through some stuff, still going through some stuff. This is how it was hard for me to get. I need to start making my videos. And, and get back into myself. But it's been very hard for me to do this. It's been very hard. But I'm I'm holding my own. I'm I'm keeping it. I'm I'm doing what I need to do. And um, that's what we have to do. And we have to know that we have to also remember that God sits high. And he looks low. You gonna reap what you sow. You're not gonna go on forever and ever and just mistreat somebody. That's our mother. We love our mother. And we miss her dearly. But now when you lose somebody like that, it's time to think about the things that they taught you. Think about the good times. Think about even some of the bad times. I think about when she fussed at me. I, you know, you think about, you take in and you think about, and that's how you, 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 you get better. You think about the love you have for that person. You think about what they taught you. And, and the person that you are today is because of them. You know? And that it should put a smile on your face, and that should help you get through the day because it's a day-by-day -day process. Your life will never be the same when you lose a parent, especially your soul parent. Like, I lost my dad. I love my dad, but he didn't raise me. My mother raised me, and um, my stepdad, my, my sister's dad, okay, but... My mother, basically, she raised me. That was my mother, my daddy, my everything. My mother. And so you, so that, it hit different for me. Okay. And so what's getting, it was helping me is I'm thinking about the good times. I'm thinking about the talks. I'm thinking about the times she got on me. I'm thinking about the things she said. I'm thinking about our conversations and Things that she said to me that hurt her and or that bothered her when she was growing up and, or even in her marriage as a woman. You know? And I'm just thinking about it. And that's what's keeping me, keeping me going right now. Keeping my fuel filled up. But... I just want you guys to know that I'll pat yourself on the back. Give yourself credit for where you are today. Think about where you could have been. Think about where you were at. And look at yourself now and give yourself credit. 
Pat yourself on the back. Appreciate where you are right now. So God can, in the universe could open up more doors for you. Don't spend your time being envious and jealous because you see somebody else having something and doing something. You can get out there and do it too. Don't deflect your anger with, that you have in yourself on somebody else because you're not happy, because you're not satisfied, because you're miserable, because you don't like your life, because you are mad at the decisions that you made, because you don't like where you are right now, because you're feeling the way you're feeling. Look in the mirror. And I'll catch you in the next video. Peace.